This is me after my second C-section and this is me after I lost 20 pounds and closed my three finger gap of my diastasis recti. And today I'm going to guide you to give you the best exercises that I have been doing them four weeks after my delivery. If you're looking for the full guide, it's always available in my mobile app, especially for postpartum and mom community. Don't forget to subscribe to get updated for my next video. Today workout, we will need a pillow, or towel, I would suggest pillow. It's gonna help you to understand the exercise and how to activate your core and pelvic floor in each movement. So we're gonna start first exercise, the diaphragmatic breathing. This one is going to be laying on the floor. I want you to place the pillow right under your lower back and supposed not to be too big, it has to be a bit smooth where it's comfortable to take all the gap in the lower back area. Now I'm gonna place my feet closer to my legs and then I'm gonna put my chin down. I'm gonna to try to inhale from my nose, open up my chest and expand my tummy until I feel it. It's really big and full of oxygen. So let's breathe in from the nose. Make it big and then you're gonna exhale from your mouth and Try to breathe until the end. Now, as I'm breathing out, exhaling, I'm bringing my pelvic floor up. So I'm trying to tuck it in. And this is very important because you need to feel your pelvic floor lifting up as you exhaling. Let's try one more time. And half from your nose. And exhale, bring your pelvic up. Try to exhale until the end. Breathe out until you feel your tummy almost stick with your back. We're gonna do this exercise for 10 breathing. Exercise number two, we're gonna do the slide where you place your foot all the way with fully extension. Then you're gonna bring it back closer and then you alternate. We're gonna do one at a time. This exercise is very great to help you to heal your core without having any impact or feeling anything after your C-section. So we're gonna again do the same steps where we inhale from your nose and exhale from our mouth. We're gonna do this 10 each side. So we're gonna start with inhale, exhale, bring it back and alternate.
All right, so the next exercise is gonna be on the side. So we're gonna start with the side breathing again. So you can lay down in any way that it's comfortable for you. We don't need the pillow on that exercise. So it's just gonna go on the side. Place your hands as a pillow or you can put the pillow under you. And you're gonna focus again on the breathing on your core. Again, we're gonna inhale and open up our chest. Let all the air goes inside the belly. And then you're gonna exhale from your mouth and try to bring your pelvic floor as much as you can to the top. Let's do this for another 10 breathing. Next exercise, I want you to place your pillow closed between the legs and try to squeeze it and then lift your feet up. So that's how it looks, it has to be. The pillow between the legs and the squeeze it. Now relax your head, your body, and again, close the gap in your back, place your hands straight, and then I'm gonna try slowly to bring one arm Overhead, all the way, extension, and bring it back to the center, and we alternate. We're gonna do this exercise 10 each side. Next exercise, we're gonna try to roll it a little bit to make it more challenging. And again, we're gonna place it between the legs. Now I want you to do the glutes bridge. As you're going all the way up, I want you to squeeze the pillow between your legs. And that's a great practice for you to strengthen your pelvic floor. We're gonna do this one again 10 times. And don't forget to breathe again, inhale from your nose and exhale from your mouth as you're going all the way up. Let's try them for 10 times. Next exercise, I want you to roll on your side. You're gonna place your bellow again between the legs. Now you're gonna bring your elbow 
on the same level of your shoulders. Keep your hip on the floor, keep your knee on the floor. Now slowly I'm gonna try to lift my body up. Take deep breath and touch the ground. We're gonna do this for 10 times each side. Now we're gonna do the other side, again the same position but the other side and then you're gonna squeeze the tummy and inhale and exhale for 10 times. Our last exercise for today, I want you to bring your toes on the mat, relax your feet, and then I want you to take the pillow and I want you to squeeze all the way as you're going up with fully extension, try to make all the pressure on your core. Again, we're gonna inhale, exhale. This is a great exercise to strengthen your core, especially after the pregnancy. Let's try to do this again 10 times. Take deep breath and squeeze, exhale. One more time, deep breath, exhale. Well done, Mama. If you do these exercises three times a week for only 10 minutes, you're gonna have an amazing result and it's gonna help you a lot to snap back after baby and it's gonna strengthen your core to be ready to step back to your regular routine at the gym. Don't forget to subscribe below to get the next episode of my training. And if you are looking for the full guide, you can find them always for pregnancy and postpartum with my mobile app, including your nutrition and follow-up. I'll see you next time and have a wonderful day.